The grandchildren of iconic actress Elizabeth Taylor are in South Africa with the Late Stars Foundation to support Nkosi's Haven, an organization founded and run by Gail Johnson. Johnson was late AIDS activist Nkosi Johnson's foster mother. Layla Wilding, Quinn and Reese Tivy, Taylor's great-grandson Finn McMurray and director Dick Scanlon say they are excited to be in the country and supporting an organization like Mgorsi's Haven. There are certainly many children in the states living with HIV AIDS, but they're more likely to have at least one living family member who can provide some care with them, and then there's other services and organizations that come in and provide other sorts of care for them, but they might not be as much in need of a place to live and a place to have three meals a day, and a place that will finance their education, the basic things that, that a child needs. And Nkosi's Haven really provides that for these kids. The family also attended a show produced by the children from the Haven with Dick Scanlon's Arts Inside Out program, which sees professionals facilitate performing arts between the children and mothers. Gail Johnson says the shelter continues to grow, caring for 96 children and 26 mothers. His legacy definitely lives on. He cut my work out for me for the rest of my life because we deal his, his, his work daily. Um, and yeah, you know, with the, with the World AIDS Conference coming back to South Africa, so many people have phoned and said, 16 years ago, your little man spoke at the World AIDS Conference. How are you feeling? And it's like pushing quite a few buttons, I'll be honest with you. But I was so proud of him, and I'm so proud of what we've achieved and what my children are achieving. Elizabeth Taylor, the founder of our organization, cared deeply about every individual who was HIV positive. And she is a hero for many and us especially, and we just want people to know that her desire to care for people who are HIV positive lives on, and through her foundation, will continue to care for people as long as it is needed. Joel Goldman, the managing director of the Elizabeth Taylor Foundation, says they have donated close to half a million rand so far to the Haven and Scanlon's program. You know, we were talking about Nicosi and how that turned a tide at the Durban International AIDS Conference 10 years ago. So we're excited to be part of this conference, uh, the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation, to be there and to, um, the conference starts with the Human Rights Award, the Elizabeth Taylor Human Rights Award, which is being given by uh, Charlize Theron is presenting it on behalf of our organization, the International AIDS Society and AMFAR, who all sponsor this award. So we're excited to be down there and have a real presence. And I think people will be able to look back at Durban 10 years ago and see that 10 years later, a lot of good things have happened. I mean, there's still so much to be done to help end this, but I think I think compared to where we were 10 years ago, it's come pretty far.